Before you start cooking, have all of your mise en place ready, including the ingredients for the sauce. Then preheat a stainless steel pan over medium-high heat. Season the underside of the chicken with just a bit of salt. Once the pan is hot, add the oil and then the chicken. Prosciutto side down. You may have to work in batches, so don't overcrowd the pan. Also, it's important to not move the chicken in the beginning. It will release naturally on its own as it cooks. Just shake the pan periodically. Here you can see the chicken is not moving at all, so we'll just leave it a few more minutes. And don't worry, any cheese that oozes out will add delicious flavor to the final sauce. You can see the chicken has started to cook around the edges, and when you give the pan a good shake, the pieces release and move around. If any parts seem to be sticking for you, don't worry, just use a spatula to release them. Now we'll flip them and let them brown on the other side. To check for doneness, flip the chicken back over and press with your finger. It should feel firm but still springy. You can also make a little cut in the chicken. If there are no traces of pink, it's done. When done, place onto a plate and tent loosely with foil. To cook the second batch, make sure the pan is still shiny with the oil that remains. If not, add a bit more. Cook the second batch, and remember, don't touch the chicken once you put it in the pan. It will release easily from the pan when it's ready to be flipped. Once all of the chicken is cooked, discard the oil from the pan. Then off the heat, add the wine, and then the garlic. Now let simmer over low heat, scraping up any bits from the pan. Let reduce to about two tablespoons or until the sauce starts to thicken and look syrupy. Then add the stock, bring to a boil and reduce by half or again until it starts to thicken and look syrupy. Now add the cold butter and let melt. Then add the lemon juice and stir to combine. Now taste the sauce. You may need to add a bit more salt and pepper. Reduce the heat to low and return the chicken to the pan, coating each piece in the sauce. Now transfer the chicken to a platter, cover with the sauce and serve. This dish is especially good with lemon parmesan orzo and sautéed garlic rapini.